Welcome to the September edition of Cornerstone Connect. We have a very special program planned just for you. Tom Hollis will stop by to share how Cornerstone Television is leaving the light on for you. And you have a special invitation to join us as we dedicate our new production control room to the Lord and His service. And it wouldn't be Cornerstone Connect without letters from the mailbag from you. All that and more coming up next. Welcome, I'm your host, Amanda Brocker, and I just have one question for you. Have you received your Hope Today newsletter in the mail? If not, please give us a call at 888-665-4483 or go to www.ctvn.org. We would love to get this in the mail to you just to help us stay connected. And I just want to say a big thank you to those who sent in some encouraging notes to us here at Cornerstone. This is from Kathy. She said, God's healing is at work. Many thanks for your prayers. Kathy, we rejoice with you and we know our God, he hears our prayers and he answers us. This comes from Vicki. She said, please pray for the salvation of my children, brothers and grandchildren and we're in agreement. That's part of God's plan here at Cornerstone Television that everybody knows Jesus. And she said, thank you and thank you so much for many programs you have to nourish my soul. Vicki, that is why we exist and I just want to say thank you to the many of you who support our network because that's exactly what it's doing. It is nourishing the soul, the spirit of each and every man, woman and child that watches. This comes from one of our other donors. I love every show and have learned so much. Thank you all. I praise the Lord for you. Whatever your name is, God knows your name and we appreciate your encouragement. This is another anonymous one. It says, God bless you for all you do. May all who see Cornerstone TV programs know who Jesus is. I pray in Jesus' name. Well, we put our faith in agreement with you that all would know who Jesus is. I remember Miss Norma's words and her hope was that everybody ought to know who Jesus is. And we still believe that. Will you believe that with us? Maybe you've never joined our family. I invite you right now to join our family. You can give us a call at that same number or go to our website and you can become a part of our family by donating to us and helping us continue to get the good news of the gospel out. This one comes from another anonymous note. This is from William in uh, Scenery Hill, PA. Praise God. I thank you for the the wonderful prayer phone call yesterday. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So sometimes our prayer partners, they reach out and we give our donors a call. It was at a time I needed so much prayer and I know that our Lord answered my prayer and now he's counting out many blessings. May this check be multiplied. You know that is the amazing thing that God does is when you sow into Cornerstone he will cause that dollar to go farther and do more than we could ever do. So we just want to say thank you for your donation and Rita we appreciate you writing in. I love your typed notes to us and Rita just said needless to say I was there during the 10 years it took to get Cornerstone on air. I even met Russ a couple times when he came to church in Johnstown to talk about the station. I am very blessed. Rita, thank you for just supporting our network from the very beginning. And thank you, Jesus, for the miracle that Cornerstone Television is. Well, stay tuned for more because coming up next, you're invited to a special time of dedication. Watch this. Well, I'd like to welcome you to a very special moment here at Cornerstone Television. We are celebrating the dedication of our control room upgrade, and we are celebrating the faithfulness of the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand here, everybody. 
I want to tell you, you know, I was in college and someone called me one time. This was 1976 and they said, hey, you want to hear about Channel 22 going on the air? And I went and heard the, the vision of Cornerstone Television still a few years before they were about to go on the air. And, you know, God has been so faithful in all that time. I love the faithfulness of God. Well, I was just talking with someone about that 10 year period of uh, just marching through that storm to get to where this place went on the air and has been on all these years. Now, I'd like to ask someone who's been along for that journey to join me, Pastor Gary Mitrick. Come on up. <laughs> Bless you, sir. So good to have you. Thank you. Yes. Tell me about what you remember about that and just the power of Christian television to share the gospel. You know, I, I believe in the power of Christian television, even as a local pastor, because I believe Christian television goes where the church sometimes can't go. It goes right into the homes, right into yeah. hospitals, right into prisons and nursing homes. And we've seen the fruit of that over these last 45 years. And, you know, I think, wow, you know, not only is Cornerstone Television so different than all of the other secular stations that are out there because we're proclaiming the good news of Jesus but God gave Russell and Norma Bixler, our founders, really a vision to create original programming. Yeah. And that even sets us apart and makes us unique even from other Christian television networks. You know, I love that, Pastor Gary. I felt like that when we do that, we are fulfilling that vision. We are fulfilling when we have a new program on the air, uh, that creativity that God gives to so many people to share that love of share his love in creative ways. Yes, and it and, and and I believe even now more than ever in these dark times, in these times when so many people are searching, looking for hope, for answers, for healing, I believe God has made us just a vibrant voice and a shining city on a hill yeah. to proclaim the good news around the nation and around the world. Well, he set us on a hill, didn't he? <laughs> yes, he and did. he had told us to raise high the signal to the, to the people. And, uh, and I just am thrilled to see that that's been happening. And I just wanted to uh, bring in another person, if I could bring in uh, our president, Steve Johnson and have him share a little bit about it. Come on in there. Hey, hey, uh, it is a great day. <laughs> this is exciting. Yes, yes. it is. This yes. is really a watershed for us. Can you believe it's been nearly 13 years since we've done this the last time? Upgrade our control room. Right, that time we went to high definition. This time we are capable to go to ultra high definition. So this, upgrade, this equipment change. It was done by our own team here in house, our Larry James. Yay, Larry James. <laughs> Where'd you go, Larry? Larry planned it all out. Larry. Steve, Steve, we've got some gifted men and women on our staff that they are just treasured gifts from the Lord to us. Even you. <laughs> especially you especially. you know you were the guy that said hey we've got this project we want to do you know we should take it to some of our key donors and tell them that we want to do this and so we did and here we are you yeah. know six months later uh really a big deal i just can't overemphasize what it is to go from where we were in quality and reliability to where we are now. Behind me, they've got Larry working on, a, <laughs> on the control room from a time-lapse recording, and it's so funny to see him. He's on the ground, and he's in front of the equipment, and then he's over something over here, and then there are close-ups. Oh, there he is. Yeah. I, see, I see Mike there, too, yeah, Mike, Mike got, Kittner as well. Uh, and we've also got you know our facility manager, Don Snyder, who did the furniture for us. That's a very expensive prospect mm -hmm. to get that custom furniture made. Don has the talent and the skill to do that, so really a great team okay. effort. Um, Larry went for quality and value. He didn't go for the fanciest, raciest, most expensive stuff. And he didn't go for the cheapest stuff he could find either. He went for value. 
So we've got good value, we've got great solid equipment, and we're set up for hopefully another 13 years, and somebody <laughs> else can dedicate the next one in 13 years. That's what I've got to say. Well, <laughs> and the so amazing true. thing is when we shared that vision and need with our donors, they responded yeah. with, with a spirit of generosity. Yeah, it was some key donors, and they saw the, they caught the vision for what this would do for us yes. from a quality perspective. And I would encourage anyone, if you've received something from us and you wonder, well, you know, do they really need my help? Will they really get that done? This is an example, another example of how, yes, we needed your help, you helped us, and we got it done. It is on the air. We're recording this program with all the new stuff, and it's a great day. <laughs> it is a fantastic day. Uh, uh, I know, Larry, uh, the, the old stuff was good in its time it and in good. its day. Yep. And we've struggled and have uh, kind of wrapped everything up together with bailing wire and duct tape at times. At times. But now we are uh, able to uh, kind of zoom into this new era. Mm, yes, yeah. it's thrilling. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Steve. Yep. Pastor Gary's going to pray to dedicate. Yeah. Yes, That's right. amen. Would you join us? Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, on this significant day, a memorial, we first of all just want to honor you for your faithfulness to this ministry, to this network. Lord, you birthed this ministry and you have kept us here over these last 45 years on the air, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Lord, with one goal and one purpose, proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ, we have seen, Lord, tens of thousands of people make commitments to yes. Christ. Lord, we have seen hundreds of thousands of people, Lord, call for prayer and, Lord, see needs met and answers to those prayers. And Lord, we cannot thank you enough. Our hearts are full of gratitude, of appreciation, and of thanks. And Lord, today, we dedicate this production control room in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, we commit it to your work to advance your kingdom and for your honor and glory, we pray in Jesus Christ's name. And everyone said, amen. 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 Well, thank you for that prayer, Pastor Gary. You know, there is someone among us that has had the, from the very, uh, he was just a young teenager when he caught the vision of what, what? God was calling, yes, of uh, what God was calling uh, his parents to do. And I'd like to ask Paul Bixler to join us now. Uh, Paul, uh, I know the story of you, you, you riding your bike, uh, taking the deposits as donations yeah. came in. Wait a minute, I'm trying to picture you as a young teenager. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, it, it's interesting growing up. I mean, I'm, I'm here to represent the founders, my parents. And uh, my name's Paul. And I've worked here for in various jobs in all aspects, aspects of production over 40 years. It's hard to believe. Yeah. You know, we're, we're not Are so you saying you're we're not, not so young anymore. anymore. <laughs> we're, not, we're not so young anymore. But I remember when my, you know, and I've told the story before, when my, when checks would come in, we had nothing, there were, we didn't have property, we didn't have anything. I would ride my bike up to the bank, Pittsburgh National Bank is what it used to be called. And I would tell the ladies, my dad's gonna build a Christian TV station. And they would think, oh, well that's really cute. He believes his dad's gonna build. <laughs> and back in the day, we're talking the 60s and early 70s here, uh, broadcast TV was a big deal back then. It's, you know, today with all the streaming and everything, I mean, broadcast is not what it is, what it was back then. For it to, so a TV station, wow, that's a big deal, you know. But the bottom line is, you know, it's only because of the donors, the faithful people through the years that have sustained this ministry. I mean, when I'm talking little 
faithful gifts. Somebody gives $10 a month or $5 a month. You may think that's nothing, but that's what this ministry is built on. Yes, it it's was. not built on extremely wealthy people. Now, we've had a few from time to time, but it's not. And, and I think that's the reason, Tom, why we're still here. Right. It, all, through all these years, we've sustained all the, the bad and the good years. We went through a fire to get on the air and all that sort of thing. So anyway, I saw this whole thing in front of, and, and I thought, well, my dad, he can do anything. If, they, if God told him, that, and so, you know, I believed it was going to always be. And then when I went to college, I found out, I studied television not to work here, but I found out, this is unbelievable. I think my parents are like, doing something crazy this is crazy you know and then I found I figured out hey you can't do that and then I saw it and I actually go on the air and next thing I know I'm, I'm working here so <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um, the final thing we want to do here from my standpoint is I want to, I'd like to pray for you you all the people that have sustained this ministry over the years Lord I just thank you so much for the people that the, they sometimes they don't have a family but they're part of the cornerstone family and we're always we've always been a family ministry and my mother and father have been like the father of of our staff and my mother was always the mother of the staff here and lord i thank you for all the, the people you've blessed with the ability to give some people they gave sacrificially they couldn't even give i know of many people that would give parts of their social security check, basically living off of just that limited amount of funds. And it's those people that have put this ministry on the map. Whatever successes we have are because of all the foundations that they've put in through all the things that they've given through the years sacrificially. And we just thank you for that. And we thank you for all our donors and we just thank you so much for all your support. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You amen. know, Paul, I remember when the Lord gave the vision to your mom initially and to your dad, and she said, wow, I, 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 that's probably gonna cost a lot of money. I wonder where we're gonna get the money. And the Lord said to her, that's right. the partners have the money. She, she said the exact word, she said, the Lord, the Holy Spirit told her, the money is there. Yes. Yeah. You, just yeah. have to, you just have to express, tell the story and tell mm -hmm. the need. Share the and vision, that's right. which is what they that's did. Exactly and it. like you said, it started out with a lot of small gifts. But then I remember many times sitting there with your mother and her saying, you know, we need some sizable gifts. <laughs> that's, that's sizable Virginia. That's gifts. That's Virginia and, you know, yeah. we thank God because there were several, several people of our donors, families that's that right. stepped up with some very significant sizable gifts, Tom, to make this possible. You know, Barry, uh, uh, Pastor Gary, I'm, I'm always thrilled to think that God has allowed me to step in and, and enter into this ministry. And it's only because you give, that you pray, that you watch, that we are able to uh, have this ministry that's life changing. And I just wanna thank you personally for all that you do. Amen. Amen. To God be the be glory. The glory for the great things he has done. Let's give the Lord a thank offering. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. God bless. We are so excited to be joined by Tom Hollis, our COO here at Cornerstone Television. Again, you wrote another amazing article and oh, you have you. got to talk about this and your interview with Steve. I know, well, we were wanting to talk about the new uh, season coming up and, and kind of the vision for Cornerstone Television. And I thought, well, Steve Johnson, our president, he's really got the handle on this. So I decided to like have a sit down chat with him. I've got some quotes in here that I thought were great. First of all, have you ever, we've all been here, we've all been traveling somewhere and going and then 
all of a sudden we see the lights of our house, maybe off in the distance, especially if we live in the country or something, you see the lights uh, uh, of, uh, you know, your parents are there, whatever, and, and you show up and you're like, oh, it just looks so good. Well, that's kind of how we want Cornerstone Television to be for everyone. Uh, a new a phrase we're using is your home for Christian television. And I think it's a real good way to think about it. It's, uh, it's kind of like that light that's uh, kind of off in the distance, kind of giving us what we need to get through this life, to get through this journey that we're on with the Lord. Amen. So, you know, in discovering our kind of new theme, you know, what do you believe that God is going to use Cornerstone Television in this season for? Well, let me give you a quote from Steve. It's right here <laughs> where he says, like a porch light on a rainy night, we want to provide a warm and welcoming offering of programs to meet the needs of your family. And I think that's the key. And, and as uh, Steve says in the article, we're very committed to the idea of uh, the teaching and preaching programs. That's always been a staple of Cornerstone and always will be because we have to teach the Word of God. And I know that so many of you out there, you love the, 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 uh, the teaching programs. It, it might be David Jeremiah or Charles Stanley or whoever. It could be a Rick Renner or some of the other ones. We all sort of have our favorites. Uh, and, and those are, they, they give us the, the, the Word of God by hearing, right? Faith comes by hearing. So we get to hear the Word of God taught. But we also, you know, want to provide a, a place where uh, people can feel comfortable watching and enjoying something with their family. There's a lot of entertainment options out there. Like, it's crazy how many entertainment options are out there right now. But a lot of times there's nothing wholesome on. There's nothing really good on. and nothing certainly from a Christian perspective on. And of course, Cornerstone is always going to be that. That's right. And I know, you know, we have amazing donors who have stood by us for many years and we have new donors who are joining the Cornerstone family. And what would be your word of encouragement to them? Because the reality is if it wasn't for them, we would not be able to do what we're doing. We would not. And I think I'll take it from this perspective. People come up to me and they'll say, oh, I really liked what the hard questions had to say. Uh, I hear a lot from hard questions, you know, and, and, and what that has meant to people. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we understand that that is blessing their, uh, you know, their spiritual life uh, to get answers from the Bible, well, our donors are making that happen. People, uh, we've both been involved in the prayer ministry here. People call and, and they get, receive prayer and they've been so blessed by that. And that is not available if the donors aren't giving. So when the donors give to Cornerstone Television, they're taking part in what God has called this ministry to do from way back, from the time of Russ and Norma all the way up to now, to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to people, to encourage people in their faith. You know, we, we talk about, uh, I like how Steve said this here, we, uh, we love to provide programs that are fulfilling, edifying and entertaining because when we are edit, we're, we have entertaining ways to provide it in that biblical encouragement that we all need. It is so important. So, you know, in, you know, wrapping this little interview up, I, there's so much importance to what Cornerstone is doing, mm -hmm. but just talk to us briefly about how are we fulfilling the mission that Russ and Norma began you know, here today. Yeah. Well, raise high my signal to the people, right? right. And that was the verse, Isaiah 49, 22. Um, it's interesting, that verse spoke to me when I, when I was uh, coming here in, back in 1997, is that th the gospel would go out. Amanda, the gospel is, we are called to carry it to the ends of the earth. And one of the ways that is done is through technology. It's done through radio, it's done through the internet nowadays, but it's also done through television. And television is one of the ways, and the way that Cornerstone has been gifted to be in this arena. And what, what arena needs the gospel more than entertainment, the entertainment and television industry? Because as I said before, so much of what we see is not from a godly perspective, right. that we are bringing this. And we hear from people all the time that are watching that are touched, that lives have been changed through Cornerstone Television. And that's only possible through the prayers, through the watching, and through the donat donating of, uh, of our donors. 
Amen. Well, thank you for all you do here at Cornerstone. Yes. And thank you so much for being just a major part of what is happening here in and through Cornerstone Television. We could not do this without you. Stay tuned. With our thanks for your generous gift this month, Request your 16-month Jewish Christian Victory Calendar when you give in support of Cornerstone Television Network. Inside the calendar, you'll discover stunning photos of sites in the land of Israel that have been vital to the fulfillment of God's promises to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Plus, find encouragement through Scripture, reminding us of God's faithfulness in the midst of struggle. The 16-month Jewish Christian Victory Calendar features beautiful pictures of the Holy Land, room to track important dates, American and Jewish holidays, and a victory scripture for every month. Thank you in advance. Your partnership allows us to reach the lost through Christian television, provide our 24-7 prayer line, and support outreach to widows, orphans, and more. To request your calendar, call us at 888-665-4483 or give at ctvn.org slash donate. We are so glad that you joined us today. I absolutely love hearing all of the amazing things that God is doing in and through Cornerstone Television. And all of that is made possible by you. So just know our hearts are full of gratitude and love for you. And we just want to say a great big thank you. You know, I'm just thinking about we have so many new programs coming up this season uh, with Origins, uh, Discovering the Truth, One Race Human, our designed earth, just filling us with God's eye perspective, putting on our Bible eyeglasses and seeing everything in our world from God's perspective. And that is so important. You know, things are changing and it is time that we put our faith, our hope and our trust in Christ. And I can't help but just think about um, each of you who have wrote in and how God has made a difference in your life because of Cornerstone Television Network. And I just want to say thank you. You know, when you let us know, it just confirms to us the responsibility that God has given to Cornerstone Network that we are giving you the nourishment as one of our viewing audience had said, nourishment for their soul, nourishment for your spirit, so that you can grow in the things of God. And this comes from Paul and Heidi. We are so thankful for your ministry and partnership. We love Cornerstone Network and share all of the great programs with friends and family. You know, that is such a wonderful thing, Paul and Heidi. Thank you for doing that. And I encourage all of our viewing audience, share our programming with your friends. It brings hope to them. People might be in the most dire of situations and you can help literally change the atmosphere in their home by tuning in to Cornerstone Television. You know, I love the scripture that Tom had brought up in the article he wrote that um, Steve just really shared his heart for this season of Cornerstone, and that's from Romans 10, 17. It says, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And every one of our programs here at Cornerstone Television is full of God's word. And our desire is to see you grow and be nurtured in him. He has a call on your life. He has more for you to do. And our desire is to see you walk out in all that Jesus has. And maybe you have never made that commitment to Jesus himself. You know, that was Norma's words that everybody ought to know who Jesus is. And that's why the light is on here at Cornerstone so that you can find the hope that you need in Jesus Christ today.